let me introduce myself. My name is Tom Bartek, and I'm here from Masaryk University. I am PhD candidate, and uh, I want to, uh, in my thesis, uh, I want to uh, deal with gamers in Czech Republic, and may, uh, mainly with the transformation they made from 90s and uh, until today. Uh, so, uh, in my speech, I will try to introduce you uh, what, in my, in my opinion, uh, meant to be a gamer in uh, 90s Czech Republic. Uh, we've heard uh, Jaroslav and uh, Maria uh, uh, presentation about uh, how it went uh, in 80s or in 90s and in Poland. And uh, it's, uh, I will somehow in a way, I will uh, follow their lead, and I will, uh, and you will see see how. Uh, to be a gamer, you definitely need a technology to play. Uh, Eastern Europe uh, is often described as a, a place where uh, people play on personal computers, and uh, do not like consoles very much. Not so much as in Japan or as in, uh, in uh, Western Europe and uh, in the uh, US. But uh, when you uh, look closer at uh, the situation uh, in early 90s, you find out that uh, the gamers then uh, was playing on consoles because <laughs> they could not effort, effort to buy uh, a PC. And uh, as Jaroslav was talking, uh, in his presentation uh, in the 80s, uh, it was a group or subculture of people who was programming or, or playing on most ZX Spectrum or Atari. And uh, dominance of PC has uh, come a little bit later, from year uh, 93, 94, 95, with uh, Intel 3086 and 486 which was uh, really huge. Uh, it's uh, in, uh, in the, as I told, is a legacy of communism uh, and uh, separated market. Not, well, uh, the consoles came back with PlayStation, but uh, even now the situation is not, uh, is not as, uh, or, uh, comparable to, to Western Euro uh, Europe. Uh, in the mid-90s, uh, you could uh, afford a PC for 75,000 crowns, which is uh, eighth month average wages, and it should uh, show you why the gamers could not play uh, on PCs in the early 90s. Because, well, if you if you have to if you have to uh, spare so much money for, for a personal computer, uh, there's a only only small group of people who could even afford it. Uh, well, next, next thing is uh, you have to acquire games to play to be a gamer. Uh, next legacy of communism uh, was uh, pirating. Piracy was uh, in the 90s uh, for the gamers completely normal and legitimate way how to acquire a game. Uh, mostly the, it was uh, pirating from friends and uh, pirating was uh, uh, the reason why many gamers switched from consoles to uh, personal computers because it was way too easy to uh, pirate on PC. You had a floppy and you just copy, copy the game. For consoles, it was much more harder for Nintendos and, and stuff like this. Uh, even here in Brno, in 90s, we had the official store where you could buy a pirate copy of a game. Uh, you have to just uh, sign a statement that you already own the original copy of the game. Uh, but uh, no one cares if you really do. And it, so it was really, uh, they, they were selling, selling uh, hardware, software, and uh, pirate software. Uh, and uh, the pirating was uh, a really good business in the 90s for a for, uh, few guys. 
uh, you could uh, either buy a game or uh, where the games were uh, in the size of megabytes. It was so small for the media. Uh, so the deal was uh, uh, that uh, the pirate said, okay, I will give you, sell you a medium and you can choose from the list which games do you want. And on the list there was uh, also an amount of uh, megabytes the, the game, the game uh, takes. And uh, you, you, you could just uh, feel, fill uh, the media with games and the uh, price was for the medium itself. Which is quite interesting because uh, again it uh, shows that uh, uh, what do really matters and what's uh, expensive is the technology, not the content. Uh, you know, well, in that case, the piracing is okay because I do not steal something uh, which do really matter, something material. Okay, uh, how to, how to else you can acquire a game. You can rent a game. In uh, video rental stores, uh, there were a section where you could uh, choose a, a video game and you could choose a console as well. Yes, it was expensive, but a uh, few of my respondents uh, was remembering, oh, it was such a great weekend where my parents rent me a Nintendo from a rental store and I've been sitting with it all weekend, but I, they've never do, done it again later because uh, I was not talking to them, I was just playing. Of course, you can borrow a game from a friend, but who would borrow a game when you can pirate it? And you can, and of course, you can buy a game. It's, it's normal, but in 90s, the games in Czech Republic was very expensive. In uh, 95, uh, you could buy about six games from uh, average wage. And uh, this situation has changed in the uh, next decade because uh, when uh, Age of Empires 2 came out, uh, it was in 99, I think, and uh, it cost uh, 2,000 crowns. And this price was so high for about uh, nearly two years. And in 99, the average wage was uh, something near 12,000 crowns. So again, you could, uh, in 1999, you could buy only six, uh, six uh, games from an average wage, which is ridiculous nowadays when you see that uh, you can buy a game much cheaper and uh, the salaries are uh, much bigger nominally. Nowadays, you can, you can buy, I don't know, 25, 25 games from average wage. When you compare it uh, that uh, mostly gamers in the 90s was not uh, uh, working, working adults, they were teenagers or students, so they d did not have uh, money <laughs> at all. And you can see how, how expensive the games was. Uh, you, you can understand why they were pirating the games. Okay, next, next thing you need to be a gamer is to acquire an InfoEva games. Well, definitely you could uh, talk to your friends, etc., uh, like back in the 80s. But uh, in the 90s, of course, there were uh, some magazines uh, uh, dedicated to games. I have three uh, most important uh, ones. Uh, Excalibur, which was not the first, it was the second, but uh, it was, uh, I think, the most uh, influential magazine. And uh, I have a score and level which uh, are uh, published even these days. And uh, they, uh, they follow the steps of Excalibur. Uh, well, Ex Excalibur, uh, the first issue went out in uh, 1981. Uh, and uh, except the cover, it was black and white. Uh, Scora magazine was, uh, uh, is, is uh, on since uh, 94 and level uh, came out uh, one year later. 
uh, in the 90s, uh, mostly Score and Level Magazine was the popular ones. Uh, and uh, between the readers, there were some kind of clash or fight or I don't want to see the hate between them, but uh, surely a rivalry was between the readers. And uh, it, uh, it, uh, do <laughs> it has something in common with uh, this. I have a little bit uh, linguistic problem how to, how to translate it. Okay, thank you. Uh, we've, we've been, byli jsme skorečkáři. Skorečko is a pet name for Score magazine. Well, the readers uh, gave a pet name to their favorite uh, magazine. And uh, many respondents told me I was buying only this one magazine. And, I, and uh, what was uh, funny or interesting, they had no reason to tell why. When I asked them, why were you buying Score or Level magazine? I don't know, I just bought uh, Score and so I continued on. Why do, and uh, I never read the Level because it was Level magazine. It was kind of irrational, but well, it was how it worked in the 90s. And even they, now, nowadays, uh, they uh, do remember, yeah, it was really cool, but well, we were young. Okay, next thing is uh, how uh, were they playing the games uh, when there's uh, not much computers, not much, not, not much games, and uh, no multiplayer because you are free mates and you have only one PC. Uh, so the gamers uh, developed uh, some new tactics or ways how to play. And one of respondents uh, told me, oh yes, we were playing Wolfenstein in free. Okay, uh, you have, you've been switching. No, 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 we were sitting by the computer and one was moving, one was shooting, and one was opening uh, the doors. <laughs> and did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was the best multiplayer ever. Uh, of course, when uh, you had uh, only a few games, uh, you have uh, more time for one game. I don't know if, if it's a uh, reason uh, why, why the gamers now remember, oh yes, it was, I was young and I have more time. But uh, even the working ones uh, was, pay, uh, was paying more time, spending more time with one game uh, than uh, nowadays. Nowadays, uh, you give how much? Two hours per game to uh, see if the game uh, is fun for you? Well, in the 90s, uh, you spend weeks with game and then you, oh no, well, it's not my cup of coffee, but, but I, will, I, will I will finish it. Uh, it uh, surely has something to do uh, that uh, many gamers uh, remember the games they were playing that were more hardcore. And uh, even, even it uh, has something to, uh, to do with uh, the observing. Uh, gamers do, do, uh, okay. do refer uh, themselves or remember, well, I was really enjoying observing someone else who was playing. It's nothing new. Even T.L. Taylor is describing it, it uh, in her uh, work. And uh, quite a few of my respondents told me, well, I was not good at this game, but I like it. And my friend, well, he was brilliant. He did not have a PC at home or a console at home. We were playing at my place, and I just sit and watch him play because he was good in playing. Uh, and what is uh, also interesting, that uh, all my respondents uh, on the was answering the question, which games were you playing? They were answering uh, the English uh, titles or Western titles. And uh, I have to ask them again, and were you playing Czech games? Because in the 90s there were, uh, new, uh, there were games uh, which were in Czech and uh, it was uh, newly found studios which were trying to, to uh, produce the games for Czech market. 
but uh, only a few gamers were, were aiming at Czech games. Everyone had played Czech game. And, uh, and uh, they just uh, were focusing, or they were not focusing, they just uh, find it naturally that they are playing uh, foreign games. So uh, just to sum it up, uh, what it meant to be a gamer, uh, for me, the main statement is you are never alone. You have to be friends in order to get, get, get games and info. And uh, you took uh, part in specific rituals, such as reading magazines and, uh, and playing the games in a group, etc. It's uh, for longer discussions. So uh, thank you for attention. My time run up. So uh, I hope uh, you have, will have questions in our small questions and answers. Thank you.